Okay. Decrease me there. What? Uh, no, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Put me down. Uh, yes, I stay here. Max, what do you want for dinner? Justice. bigger than Amber, correct? Physically? I wouldn't say that. Okay. Um, the stand, I would, would you agree with me? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to follow the center to the Amber. Well, I just want to call the temperature in the 60s, and so forth. Wind between 10 and 20 miles per hour. Please turn to your seats. I'm going to see for the flight attendants. On your local five o'clock news. We'll start with the still shot of the gas station sign, obviously. Then someone open up the gas tank and put the thing in. Next, we're gonna do a shot of the price ticker as they fill up with gas. After that, we'll probably just interview someone at the gas station and ask them very leading questions to get them to make the situation sound way more extreme than it actually is like this. I can't afford to go to the grocery store anymore. I can't afford food anymore. After work on a Friday, I'd go down to Chili's and get a cold beer, maybe a two for 20, but now with gas prices being the way they are, I can't even afford that. After that, we'll show some more shots of the person we just interviewed getting gas and maybe showing them looking frustrated like this or maybe like this. Not yet convinced that the world is ending tomorrow? How about another doomsday soundbite? I mean, at this point, I'm honestly thinking about maybe, you know, taking out a second mortgage on my house or selling one of my kidneys or something. Then we'll conclude by telling you to tune back in at 10 p.m. to literally watch the exact same story. Zippa, you don't get a treat till she sits. <laughs> Sit. Sit.